Greetings and peace everyone. My name is Neo and I'm here to share some info with the people. And this information here comes from my years of studying the mind, how it functions and how I can utilize it for myself. And actually um, studying my own mind too and going through my own experiences. And there is a, during my studying on YouTube, YouTube is a study tool that I utilize also, mainly, largely, I would say, other than real life, other than real life, because I go around in real life actually studying anything that I can study and investigate that I feel is necessary for me to obtain the intel for myself for whatever reason. So on YouTube years ago, probably like around five years ago, I stumbled upon a video titled um, How to Use Your Sub Superconscious Mind or something like that. It's either How to Use Your Superconscious Mind or How to Activate Your Super Superconscious Mind, something like that. You can check that out. And it's a guy who's, who's talking. It's just his audio. But then they have uh, pictures. I believe because it's been a while they have pictures and I downloaded it now to audio so that I can listen to it and remind myself of what the superconscious mind can do and what this guy entails is a lot of great very informative information that anybody can utilize so that they can know what their mind is and actually you know what during your study I recommend that you do this too when you're studying your the mind as I recommend everybody in a lot of my videos when I'm talking about personal development to learn what your mind is go ahead and download that video how to to I think it's how to access your superconscious mind I'll do my best to put it in the description the link I'll look for it for you and I'll put it in the, the description if not you'll have to go ahead and search it for yourself and what the guy mentions in the the it's early morning, y'all. Sorry. It's before 9 o'clock here. <laughs> so, my mind isn't... Alright. It's not active. It's not activated like it usually is. Where I can just come out with stuff fast. Um, he mentions a lot of the basics to the average person. is not... The basics is, is higher than that. But with me knowing what we can do further beyond what he mentions... I know that these are the basics. So what he mentions, and he he mentions all of the variety of things that you can do with your mind once you know how, once you learn how to utilize it. So he noticed he identifies the the functions of the mind, and one function that he mentions is our internal alarm clock. What a, an internal alarm clock is is you can tell your mind what you want to do at what specific time and there are so many subtle when that moment comes up there's so many subtle signs to remind you like look okay now is the time to do this this and this for an example he gave an example of what you can do before you go to bed you can tell your mind what time you want to get up and it will get you up either exactly at that time or before it when he mentioned this Ever since he mentioned that, I did it myself. I tested it out years ago, and now every single time I, I want to get up a specific time, I tell my mind before I go to bed, I'd be like, mind, get me up at this and this time, this time. And then it'll either give me, get me up exactly at that time or the time before it, a little bit of time before it, or even a half an hour before it. Regardless, it's right on time. It's perfect, perfect timing. And ever since then, I stopped using alarm clocks because I'm fucking alarm clocks. They, they fuck with your central nervous system and, and they, they, they shock you. Even if it's just music, it's still a shock. It's like a... And that, I don't like those. I like my natural way of awakening. So, I would tell it. So, what you got, what you got to do is, before you go to bed... If you know you want to get up at 7 o'clock, 
for work or whatever it is you before you before you do it you say okay mind before what I want you to do is I want you to wake me up at seven o'clock so that I can do such and such and then you just go to bed and you you wake up and then look at it as soon as you wake up look at the alarm clock or what your alarm clock or your cell phone your watch whatever it is immediately look at it and look at the timing sometimes it'll be right on time and sometimes it'll be a little bit before or even a half an hour before something like that but utilize that time to if it's extra time if it's a half an hour utilize that time for something else because there might be a reason why your subconscious mind or your super conscious mind wakes you up a half an hour early so you utilize that time to do whatever it is you need to do because there's a reasoning for that and the other thing is when you use your alarm clock it won't awaken you a few minutes early because the thing is with, with your mind with your superconscious mind it knows everything 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 that we need to know we got it in, inside of us so that's the reason why I like the alarm the internal alarm clock is it knows that I'm going to need to do something else your your fucking alarm clock is man-made so humans made that and there is a lot of humans that make a lot of human errors so that alarm clock is precise yes but it doesn't know that you're gonna have to take that that bowel movement for like 15 minutes <laughs> before before you go to work but your super conscious mind knows that um, it doesn't know that you're gonna have an argument that's gonna waste your time the argument with your wife your argument with your husband your superconscious mind knows that so it'll wake you up a half an hour early let you do what you gotta do but if you know how to, to sense it if you sense that something is kind of gonna happen then boom you can avoid that argument and focus on getting to work or whatever it is it's just so much better is much more advanced and I have to tell you this all of our technologies that we have here in this world is some way shape or form based off of our body our spiritual self our internal spiritual energy spiritual selves one way or another let me give you an example cameras everything that a camera can do the majority of it our eyes can do yes the zoom too we have what what's what's the call it what's the what's the word um telescopic telescopic vision people think that only Superman has that me programming my subconscious mind to have that I'm working on working on it and I see that it is it is possible because when you program your mind to do certain things you access certain areas of your brain and with me with the eye vision I haven't I mean I'm working I'm accessing it but there's still certain areas that I have to access but you can literally see telescopically with your eyes and look at the, the telescope the telescope that comes from our eyes that technology comes from the studying examining and investigating of our eyes everything that these the societies create is based off of our body in some shape or form in our spiritual technology so the eyes you can do that you can zoom in and go fat further go look at the movie um, Man of Steel when he was looking up at the ship his mother he was with his mother at night right remember that that where Zod first came he descended onto the earth atmosphere or in that area when Clark came out of the house where his mother said Clark come here look at this he, he looked up and that zoom people think that that zoom was a camera zoom but those of us who know Superman's abilities we know that that was his telescopic vision and he zoomed in to to get a closer look with his eyes we have that ability but you don't know it and you don't believe it so that's why you don't ask you ha haven't been able to access it but me I create subliminal videos 
to access certain parts of my brain. I do it for myself and I do it for other people. And that allowed me to access it. And then, boom, I start trying to do it sometimes. And the more, the deeper that belief come, becomes, the more I'll be able to access that telescopic vision. So if you want to access any part of your brain and you need help with it, then I, would, I recommend going to my subliminal video channel and I'll see if what I can do to put this description, the link in my description. But I create subliminal videos starting at, let me see, what's my price now? I think it's three ninety nine. I got I got I got to check and see my my pricing. But I create custom subliminal videos that help people to change their overall behavior. But I recommend before you do that, go ahead and study what the subconscious mind is, how it functions, and how you can program it. You can program it by audio and visual, and visually, and you could do a lot with it. So we can talk about that another time. I think I might do another video for that. But for right now, the internal clock, the way you program it is before you go to bed or in any time, in any time of the day. I use it any time of the day too. So for example, if I was to go to the library right now, I would like after this video, I would say, remind me at 12 o'clock to do this, this, and this. And then I would get either a, a thought, an image, an overall fe feeling, or I'll even be in the area of something. If I have to pick something something up, I'll be in the area, and then my head will automatically turn toward whatever it is I said I wanted to pick up. Then I'm like, oh, okay, I got it. Boom. <laughs> That's your internal system, your internal mind, your su super conscious mind. You can just say it. You just say what you want to do and say get that done for me I say get that done for me or you can say accomplish that for me whatever it is you have to declare it you have to declare it at the end so if you want to get get up at seven o'clock tomorrow you say get me up tomorrow at seven o'clock and then do this this and this and you say get that done for me that's what I say. Get that done for me. But whatever way you want to finish it off, it has you have to finish it off with something to close it. Whatever you, whatever it is you want to want to do, you can just say it out loud, or you can say subconscious mind. That's what because that's what I do sometimes. I say subconscious mind. Sometimes I say spirit. There's a variety of things. Play around with it to see what you feel comfortable with. But you're utilizing your internal self and you're decreasing your dependency on these fucking technologies because the more you depend on these technologies the less access you have to your spiritual self but the more you depend on your spiritual technology the more you increase it that's why you gotta work on your and with me I've been working on my intuition recognition intuition recognition and now it's a lot more stronger because I depend on it and I believe in it and that belief came in the more I recognized it and I followed through with it and also with me utilizing my subliminal video my subliminal videos because I have one of the lines in there I have a heightened intuition I depend on my intuition my intuition works great something like that I have a lot of affirm affirmations in there and it is in a video and it scrolls up and I watch that a minimum of once or more a day, twice or more a day. And it's been working greatly, greatly, greatly. Three ninety nine for a custom subliminal video to enhance yourself. That is way, way worth the investment compared to all of these other people asking you for twenty, sixty dollars or whatever for a subliminal video a custom subliminal video for yourself or tons of money for anything else for your self development. Three ninety nine is a great deal. And whatever I offer the public anyways, I always make it affordable for just about anybody. Whether it be my committed relationship book ebook, that's only three ninety nine or two ninety nine, something like that. And this subliminal custom subliminal video service that I offer, that's only three ninety nine. It's a it's a lot. I make it affordable so 
and it's for the public to enhance themselves. I, I'm big on self-enhancement. If you haven't identified that in my last few videos in particular, I'm huge on it. And I'm huge on evolving myself. So whatever little tools that I could create for myself and I could do it for free, <clears throat> I'm jumping on it and I'm figuring out how to do it for myself and then helping other people out. So that's what I suggest that you do. You, If you are serious about your self-development, invest in yourself. Forget about all the other people that doesn't want, that don't want to invest in themselves and evolve. You focus on yourself. All right, questions, comments, go ahead and do it in the comment section. If you want more information about my subliminal video service, you can go to my channel. What is my channel? My channel is Neo Oneness Subliminals. Neo Oneness is one word in subliminals. Go ahead, type that in in the description, and you can check my channel out. I have a variety of subliminal videos there that's just what I put up but you can get a custom one specifically for you whether it be you want to increase your your psychic abilities you want uh, money attraction you want to increase your comedic value there's a lot whatever your imagination can think of is there for you just let me know what you want and I can create it for you and depending on what you're, you're seeking Three ninety nine is actually the basic price. That's the basic price. So it it does go up based on your request because there's more you can add on to it. Remember, it's custom. So just go ahead and think about it. So first, learn what your subconscious mind is. Go study that. Once you get a good basics of that, then go to my subliminal video uh, channel. Look and see what I have, and look and see how they are structured. Then think about what you want for your own video and then request it. That's what I recommend that process. But however process you want to go through as far as investigating, studying what's going on before you get your own custom video, then go ahead and do that. All right, till next time.